that's Lil Lad. Thanks for joining me. It is day 10 in Christmas in Lil Lad and I'm too excited. Oh, cause I love Christmas. Yes, I do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But let's take it down a notch now, Neve. Um, I appreciate that I am a little over the top and a little extra when it comes to Christmas and um, for me personally it is one of my favourite times of the year but I appreciate that that isn't the same for everybody. So today I want to have a little bit of a chat um, and kind of harken back to my how to be happy videos and just discuss mental health at Christmas and maybe give you a little bit of a boost um, to help if Christmas is not your favourite time of year, if this is not the most wonderful time of the year for you, then let's try and make it a little bit easier. Um, and I don't mean I'm going to get you around to my way of thinking because I'm not here to do that at all. I do Christmas my way, I think how I want to think. I'm not here to tell anybody else how to think at all. Um, but I hope that you will feel less um, alone and um, a little bit better after this video. If you want to hear a few tips and just some things that I've learned over the years through experience, then keep watching. But before we go any further, have we subscribed? Come on, come on. We all know YouTube by now. Get your butt down there and subscribe, please. Thank you. Oh, go on. I would love it if you'd subscribe. I really like my YouTube channel and I really like all the people that watch my YouTube channel. So just go and subscribe and join the gang. We're lovely. We're really nice. And I promise I'll look after you. I promise I won't ever upset you. And I promise I will make you laugh. And I promise I will um, protect you and make you feel like the best person in the whole wide world because you already are. So please go and subscribe. Okay, right. Let's get on with it then. Okay, so my first... Um, piece of advice and my first point to make is if you are not if you <laughs> I can't speak if you are not feeling at your happiest right now and it's Christmas and it may be nothing to do with Christmas but you're just not feeling it right now the biggest bit of advice and the biggest point I can make um is to just tell you that that's okay that's okay you don't have to. If you are feeling depressed or anxious or just fed up, it's a it's a tough time of year. We are not built to be this busy and this active in these months. We're not built for that. We're built to basically hibernate. We, we want to retreat. We want to stay in and get wrapped up and eat comfort food. We're not built to have the flashing lights and the going out shopping in busy areas and going to the gym and going out to work. And da, 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 da. You'll find that things like that are much easier in summer because we're more built for that. In winter, we've evolved to just withdraw a little bit. You know, back in the days where we were out working in the fields, there were no crops to tend and that was great. So we kind of built the stores for the winter like little squirrels and just lived off that throughout the winter and just kind of took a step back and, and recharged like the earth's recharging. All those plants, everything that's going on under the ground, ready to come up in spring, we're supposed to do that. We have not evolved as a species fast enough to keep up with our lifestyles now. Technology and everything else has advanced far quicker than we can evolve. If you are not feeling Christmas, that's fine. It's okay. And I think for me, the biggest thing that helped me when I feel like that when I allow myself to feel like that, it kind of takes the wind out of it a little bit and it kind of makes it not as bad because particularly at Christmas, television adverts, movies, people talking, people getting excited, um, YouTube videos, blogs, everything is about Christmas and everything is aimed and geared up for that ideal Christmas that idea of having all your family, having lots of people to spoil, um, having the money to spoil people. It's, it's geared up for that because obviously these companies and these brands want to sell you that idea of the perfect family Christmas. They want you to buy into that perfect Christmas because they're trying to sell you their products. They're trying to literally sell you that life. It's kind of set up at this time of year for you to feel bad if you haven't got all that going on around you but that 
isn't your reality and that's absolutely fine so for me the biggest obstacle to overcome is that that's absolutely fine because you're just faced all the time everywhere you go with kind of being slapped in the face with the fact that you don't have this and you don't have that and it's just it's just constantly in your face that that's not what you have but that's fine that's absolutely fine it's not there's no such thing as a perfect situation there's no such thing as a perfect family there's no such thing as a perfect life there just isn't so the first step in not feeling as bad at this time of year is to just allow yourself to feel however you feel if you feel lonely you feel lonely it's crap but that's how you feel and just accept that it's fine to kind of want to pick yourself up by your bootstraps and think right come on no i'm gonna try and get out of this funk today which is brilliant and i applaud you for doing that but if you don't feel like you can and you feel like today's the day you're just gonna lie under a blanket with a tub of ice cream and watch Netflix, then you do that. You absolutely, if that's gonna make you feel better today, then you do that and you do not feel guilty about it whatsoever. Do not pile any more negative emotions onto you when you're already feeling down and you're already feeling negative and do not let anybody else pile negative emotions on top of you either. So just allow yourself to go through the emotion and you can think to yourself, okay, why don't I like Christmas? Is it because I feel lonely? Okay, what can I do about that situation? If you have got family members that you haven't connected with simply because you've moved away or you just haven't seen each other because life is busy then pick up the phone it might it might spur you on to think do you know what i'm just going to pick up the phone i'm just going to speak to them if you've got if you've moved away from family members because those family members or their actions are toxic to you and have a really negative effect for whatever reason then keep them at arm's length absolutely by all means do not have anybody in your life that makes you feel less than brilliant even if it's family members especially if it's family members because i think they can hold more weight with us personally we take it a lot more personally from family members trust me i know so absolutely keep those at arm's length i'm not saying reconnect with anybody that makes you feel less than perfect but it might inspire you to think, do you know what? I am a bit lonely. I have cut myself off a little bit. I don't need to. I can leave those people over there and I can start to build myself a new support system, a new family, a new friendship group. So it might encourage you to think, okay, maybe in the new year, I'm going to look into what groups are local to me or what there is in my area that I can attend or... Maybe you could go and do a short course and you can meet a couple of like-minded people on a short course. There are lots and lots of courses that don't cost a lot a lot don't cost anything depending on what situation you're in get in touch with your local college get in touch with your local learning establishment and see what there is around you there is always a way if you want to that you can reach out and you can start to get some new connections if you don't want to that's absolutely fine if you're not a social person that's absolutely fine and as my daughter said to me the other day that's what the internet's for get on twitter get on some blog groups get on twitter get on instagram go and follow some interesting people go and search for things that you like and go and comment and say hello to some people online if you're not a social person in face to face i 100 percent get that um but yeah just there is always somebody to talk to you can start with me leave me a comment send me a message send me a dm come and say hello and i will start a conversation with you i will get the ball rolling for you do something as well that's going to cheer you up if you want to if what you need right now is to just go and hibernate under a blanket with netflix you go do that that's absolutely fine once you start to feel a bit like you can peep your head above that blanket again though think of doing something that you enjoy doing for me i am very lucky that i live in the countryside and i've got my fabulous doggy so for me going out getting my trainers on and going for a big old stomp with the dog would be brilliant i love being outdoors it clears my head i just feel comfortable outdoors um especially when i'm feeling a bit like the walls are closing in and i just don't feel myself i need to get outside um another activity for me would be uh maybe going to the gym i love going to the gym uh, paul says he can totally tell when i'm not going to the gym not because i end up 
getting larger but because i just another thing might be to have a pamper night what whatever that entails for you so for me i would i love to have a nice shower um lots and lots of body cream on lots of you know a nice face mask and just sit and relax with some music on or a film um and just you know sort of a hair treatment or whatever and it's just it's less about the product you're putting on and more about just sitting and having some time to be quiet and think and just literally treat yourself and just to give yourself that positivity and that love that you just spend your life giving out to everybody else. If having a pamper night isn't your thing, going for a walk, turning your phone off. If your phone is constantly chirping at you and you're feeling overwhelmed, turn it off for an hour. Just turn it off and watch a film and just don't let anybody else into your space for whatever amount of time. Read a book. Um, just go and grab a book or download one off the internet. Go on, on a Kindle app. Read a blog. Just do something that takes your mind somewhere else for half an hour or an hour or ten minutes. Um, just something that just disconnects you for a little bit because I promise when you come back to it, you will feel a little more refreshed and you can obviously see the problem a little bit differently and hopefully just start to get away from the problem a little bit. Another good thing would be to um, keep a journal. If you're somebody who suffers with depression or anxiety or it comes in peaks and troughs, keeping a journal is a really, really, really good way of seeing any patterns or um, just being able to literally get those those feelings out. I actually started blogging um, six, and, six and a bit years ago um, and I didn't realise I was blogging, if that makes sense. If you don't know the story, my youngest daughter had um, a brain hemorrhage and lots and lots of strokes when she was just seven years old. I got a hair on my lip. <laughs> Inappropriate. It was very touch and go for a long time as to whether she was going to survive. It was horrific. We were in hospital for eight weeks and it was terrifying. So much happened so quickly. I went from being the baby of the family to almost the head of the family and trying to keep everybody together and be the one that informed everybody about the situation and kept everybody in the loop about what was happening and what it all meant and it was kind of, the dynamic was really bizarre for me um and obviously i was devastated at watching my child go through what she went through so when we came home i kind of had that moment where i sat down and thought what just happened and for me i'm lucky that i've always been drawn to writing it's something that i've always from being a child felt drawn to doing and something that i like to think i'm quite good at so for me, I just sat down at the computer um, and basically used writing as a way of putting into order everything that had happened over that eight week period and trying to get my brain to kind of make sense of it and, and just let some emotions out. And I just sat and cried at the keyboard and let these things out. And it was such a cathartic experience. And that made me feel so much better. Journals aren't for, you know, eight year old girls. They can be for men, they can be for women, adults, teenagers, children, whoever. It's just such a good way of literally getting out whatever's in your head. And if you think, I don't know what I'm thinking, I've just got all these thoughts going round, then just scribble just literally doodle until something comes out um that in itself can be a really calming experience and if you've never done now i don't think this is going to work for everybody but one thing that helps me and it's i've done it this week and it's really made me chuckle because i then messaged my mum about something else and was asking Are you okay what have you been up to and she'd done exactly the same thing for exactly the same reason so i'm going to include it and i would be really interested to know if anyone else does this as well <laughs> so i i can feel like everything's kind of coming in on me and i feel a bit like the walls are closing in sometimes you know and i am little miss christmas i love christmas i love treating people but that also means I'm very busy and it, I get really, really anxious that people are going to enjoy the Christmas that I'm trying to provide for them. I get really... God, I'm so annoying. Um, so I'll buy somebody a gift and I will spend between the minute I've purchased it to the minute they've opened it being really worried that I've got it completely wrong and they're not going to like it. I'm a nap. So anyway, so it is stressful for me as Christmas and I love Christmas. So, I, you know, I fully get that it's horrific for a lot of you. Um, so basically, um, whenever I'm feeling a little bit like the world's, you know, getting a little bit narrow, I will go and reorganise the kitchen cupboards or I will go <laughs> Or I will reorganise my stationery collection or I will reorganise my makeup collection or I will just tidy something up. 
I'll have a clear out of clothes or whatever it is. So yeah, I went and reorganised the kitchen the other day and made it really spacious and really tidy and really clean and that made me feel a bit calmer. I think it gives me something else to focus on and then it literally makes it cleaner and tidier, which personally makes me feel better. But then yeah, as I said, I'd text my mum about something and she'd done the same thing. <laughs> So she's been feeling a bit fed up. As I mentioned, she gets sad, so as in seasonal affective disorder. So, <laughs> so I think she's been feeling a bit fed up because it's been dark and cold. She's just got back from holiday as well. So she went to Morocco, came back, and it's just been dark and raining ever since she came back. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I just love that we'd both reorganised the kitchen this week. So yeah, if that helps you, then by all means, just do what you gotta do, really. You do you. That's what I'm here to tell you. The main thing that I want you to take from this is to just not compare yourself to others. As I say, companies want you to buy into this perfect Christmas, which doesn't exist. You will find, if you went and did a survey on Christmas Day of what everybody's doing, not one house in one street will be doing exactly the same thing. We'll be doing a roundabout version of Christmas, but no two houses are gonna be doing exactly the same thing, which should tell you that there is no such thing as a perfect Christmas. So don't compare yourself to anybody else. There is nobody like you in the world. There are people who are like-minded and there are people who are you can relate to and you can connect with, but there is nobody on the planet who is as brilliant as you are. You are unique, you are one in a billion, billion, billion to quote Professor Brian Cox. So there's no point comparing yourself to others because there's just nobody like you in the whole wide world ever. You are not expected to be a ray of sunshine 24-7. You are allowed to feel rubbish if that's how you feel. You are allowed to take some time to look after yourself. Self-care is the biggest gift you can give to yourself at Christmas and every single day of the year, so don't forget that. If you ever need somebody to speak to and you're really, really struggling to think of anybody to speak to, you are always, always welcome to speak to me. Um, if you don't have any family around you at Christmas, you are officially a part of my family. So if you are feeling on your own for whatever reason, you can always reach out to me. I am happy to include you in our family. Um, for whatever reason, please just get in touch if you need to. Um, I will also leave some links to a couple of charities that I know of who can help in situations like this. First charity is Mind, um, and they can be found at mind.org.uk. The second charity is Rethink, and they are at Rethink org and then for um young people there is youngminds.org.uk as well and i said i will leave those links in the description for you so you can go and have a look you can ring them up you can see what services they offer and see if any of that helps you at all so i really hope you've found something useful in here and i've not just waffled nonsense at you and you're not just throwing things at the tv right now or your mobile whatever whatever device you're watching this on if you're watching it hello anybody out there um so yeah i really hope you found this helpful i fully appreciate that not everybody loves christmas and i fully fully appreciate that not everybody has to that's fine that's absolutely fine if you don't celebrate christmas and you don't feel full of the christmas spirit that's fine not a problem but i hope that um you start to feel happier about something soon i hope if you hate christmas and you just want it to be over i hope boxing day comes super quick for you and that we can start looking forward to the spring together um but if you need anybody to talk to for whatever reason please please talk to me i am available and if i can't help i will try and help you find somewhere that can help um but in the meantime have an amazing day whatever it is you're doing remember i love you very much if you need a family you are now part of mine thank you so much for watching i hope you have an amazing day whatever it is you're doing for the rest of the day remember you are never alone you are always a part of my family make sure you make <laughs> make sure you're subscribed make sure you've got that notification bell switched on and make sure you come back tomorrow for another christmas in Lynn land video where yes the subject will be christmas but i'll try and at least make you laugh you can at least laugh at me if you're not laughing with me i don't mind that at all that's fine so i'll see you again soon thanks for watching bye